Hello, I'm Susie Nightingale. I'm here for the Perfume Society, unboxing their Feel Good Fragrances Discovery Box. Now, this is something we all need right now. Do you not agree? I think with the state of the world, things going on, the stresses of the last three years, we need that moment of calm, of strength, of recovery that fragrance can truly bring. And the Perfume Society have curated the perfect box for you if you're feeling that way. Or perhaps you've got a friend or a loved one who's had a really difficult time lately and just needs something lovely, something beautiful to concentrate on for a while. And we're going to go through these fragrances just quickly to give you an idea of what you can expect. Now, the Feel Good Fragrances box is £23 and if you're a VIP club member it's just £19 plus postage and packing and you can find all the details on perfumesociety.org. I think <laughs> with this beautiful array of fragrances before me we should dive in but I just want to show you the beautiful card that comes with the box which happens to almost match what I'm wearing today. But this beautiful, calm, oh, serene walk through a garden, a beautiful garden, which we're going to take together. Gives you some information on the back and then you've got the QR code to take you to further information and videos. Now, the first one is this absolutely gorgeous Cochine and it's their Tuberose and Wild Fig um, as your sample there. Now this is inspired by an evening walk in a garden in Saigon and oh, you can just feel the cool night air swirling around you. It invites you to take a moment to breathe deeper to focus on that breathing and to feel calm it's multi-layered yet it's light and having said that it's like it has a lasting depth within it which i think is such a beautiful fragrance to wear if you're feeling unsettled you're not qu quite sure what you want you know that oh well, i've got nothing to wear moment and we have that with fragrance as well no matter how many we have i know that all too well but I think if you're just feeling turbulent and you need some grounding in your life, you need something beautiful to focus on, this is such a good fragrance. You've got that wild fig in there in the top notes, along with bergamot and Sicilian lemon, and that gives you that sparkle, that sort of brightness. I imagine it as sort of um, moonlight on water, actually. That's, that's the image that comes to mind for me. Then you've got cardamom and coriander, that sort of herbaceousness, the spiciness, but a cool cardamom is such a sort of cool silvery spice, I always think, and very calming in itself. Then in the heart, you've got pure tuberose absolute, uh, which is incredibly expensive and exotic and beautiful. And with that, you've got night flowering jasmine. It's the time of evening where the jasmine flowers feel like you're in fairyland or something, if you've ever had the pleasure of that smell in real life. Along with oleander, um, it, it's just mesmerising, it truly is, and you have to try that on your own skin because it just blooms as it warms. And then in the base, you've got vetiver, benzoin and cedar, and that's that lasting depth that I always find vetiver such a grounding note. It, it really does make you take that breath and breathe out just that moment of calm, as I say, that we all need so much. Such a beautiful fragrance to start with. And then the next one I'm so excited by, Edenist Vetiver Imaginaire. Now, Edenist, you can read more about all of these brands on perfumesociety.org. They each have a page dedicated to all about them and their inspirations and founders and perfumers. Edenist is a fairly new brand, but it's so intriguing. It's so unique. It was developed with perfumers, obviously, and fine, <laughs> fine perfumery, but... The ethos, the heart of, of what they do basically is fragrances to make you feel better and not simply in a sort of aromatherapy, well, lavender is calming kind of way. Yes, but with neuroscience, 
they have pinpointed particular ingredients that do particular things. And if you, you can have a look on, on that page and see all of those a kind of toolbox of fragrances that you can take with you, that you can keep for particular moods that you're in or needs that you have at that particular time. But Vetiver Imaginaire, it's grounding. As I said before, Vetiver for me is one of the most beautiful ingredients in perfumery for that reason. Um, you've got natural nuances of citrus and flint and wood as well, along with smoke and earth. It's such a mysterious fragrance, perfect for this time of year. It sort of swirls around you in this calming mistiness. And I think it compels quietude a moment of contemplation and it's got this uh, de-stress accord uh, which has as I say been proven by neuroscientists to enhance that feeling of of safety I think um, and well-being so this to me is it's your best friend it's someone that you love giving you a hug and saying you can do this you've got this and I'm supporting you. I feel like fragrances do support me. And I know that many of you in your feedback have said that you feel the same. Also, if you have, a, if you can find a fragrance that just supports you, that just gives you that backbone, that gives you that hug in a bottle, it's the best thing in the world. Now, another absolutely intriguing fragrance brand that we love at the Perfume Society is Electimus. And this one is Mercurial Cashmere, another intriguing name and inspiration. So I feel like this is a fragrance to ride with us in our changeable moods, which we all have, certainly now. I think since lockdown, loads of people have reported you, you can wake up feeling anxious and nervous about the day and then something will happen and you feel elated and you feel this rush of joy and then you're exhausted and we're all tired and scared, really. And I think all of those changeable moods, it's sometimes difficult to think, well, what mood am I in right now? What fragrance does match that? And this one is based on the god Mercury, who was adored for his irresistible charm and wit and the inspiration for this sensuous and seductive scent. So apparently he was the most popular of all the gods. Um, but as the name suggests, he was also known for his changeable moods. And within this fragrance, you will find all these different notes coming up from the base and they sort of rise up to meet you. And they take you on this roller coaster ride of these emotions as, as it develops on your skin. So in the top notes, and they're the ones that you'll smell straight away, and for up to maybe half an hour, sometimes an hour, you will get Madagascan pink pepper, cardamom and Italian bergamot. And Italian bergamot, again, is that sort of sparkle, that brightness, that uplifting whoosh. And then in the heart, you've got one of the most mysterious ingredients in perfumery, which is grey amber, also known as ambergris. And it's one of those ingredients that perfumers say when you add it to a fragrance, it just... It acts like magic almost. It, it adds a certain otherness to a fragrance. And although it's very difficult to describe sometimes on its own, if it's not in a fragrance, if you took it out the fragrance, you would notice its loss. Now, along with the ambergris, you've got tuberose and violet and iris in here as well. And that sort of misty, soft, powdery cashmere. And that's where the cashmere comes from in the name. That sort of, uh, that wrap of warmth and softness, light around you, which we all need. Um, I love wearing cashmere this time of year for that reason. And this is it in a fragrant form. So... You also have cashmere wood in the base and that again enhances that sort of fluffiness, that softness, that groundingness. But there's also oud, a really soft, beautiful oud and this sort of white muskiness that's like smoke on a breeze. There's vanilla and tonka bean, those delicious addictive notes that make you want to go deeper and then there's cedarwood from Virginia as well. Um, sometimes people can get confused between the difference between cedar and sandalwood and I think the easiest thing to think of for cedar is the sort of smell of pencil shavings there is that sort of um a sort of flintiness about it again it's drier for me than sandalwood which can be very creamy and you've got the cream already coming from the vanilla and the tonka bean in this and the sort of toasty deliciousness just sublime. Now another absolutely fascinating fragrance brand and look how beautifully 
this um, little fragrance sample comes in its own little pouch and it is Elemental's Tong Ren. Now this is based on the wisdom of I Ching um, and I'm going to read this to you because I Ching is not something that I know a great deal about. I've heard of it but they say otherwise known as the Book of Changes this 4,000 year old script reveals ancient wisdom that is applicable to the modern world. Tong Ren speaks of how humanity has traversed a time of darkness. It reveals the truth that differences originate from our similarities and vice versa. That now is the time to come together in harmony and a spirit of equality to promote peace and create something new and beautiful. And I really think that is beautiful. And oh my goodness, there is such a yearning for that peace at the moment with everything that's going on in the world, everything we've been through. And this fragrance delivers that peace. It's got the uplifting notes. So it's got blood orange and blue ginger, which I've also never heard of, um, tea malt pepper and yuzu. And that is that, oh, I just immediately feel better. That whoosh, the brightness that I was talking about that we need um, to lift us in those top notes. And my goodness, first thing in the mornings when it's a bit greyer and darker, I need that too. I'm sure you do as well. Uh, in the heart, there's Champaka Absolute. Uh, it's often used in incense blends. It's very mysterious as well. It makes me feel otherworldly, brings me great peace um, automatically, that note. And then there's Egyptian as uh, Jasmine Absolute and Osmanthus. Osmanthus is one of my all-time favourite notes in fragrance. It's very apricotty, um, slightly almondy and woody as well. It can also be slightly leathery, uh, very sexy. I think. Um, and along with the benzoin and oak moss and vanilla and black tea in the base, I think this really does take you from, oh my god, I feel so much better. Then in the heart, you've got that oh, irresistible blossoms and then, and the incense, of course, and then you've got that oh, delicious calmingness and um, also some sexiness there, which also helps does it not? Um, now moving on to Maison Crivelli, Amber Chromatique. Now I smelled this at a showcase earlier this year and oh my god I just fell madly in love with it. I love Amber fragrances anyway. Maison Crivelli is such an inventive house. They never do things the expected way let's say. So this is, and they give here, I have to read this description again, it's, it's like a mood board of smell basically and you can kind of see how they work. So they say it's a rainbow jungle, a spicy trek, vanilla vines, cut multicoloured bark, a golden resin, pointed flowers, a divana pigment, sun-like feathers, an akigala leaf and amber colorama. Oh, it's poetry, isn't it, really? Uh, and I think from that you can kind of get a sense of how this fragrance smells because it's not your usual amber. It's lighter than that. It's got a, a sheerness about it. You can see through it rather than a lot of ambers, which I feel are very, very cloaking and heavy, very, very wintry. And I happen to adore those ambers as well. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes you want something, especially this time of year, with an autumnal light to it or, or any time of year. If you wore this in the summer, it wouldn't feel too heavy, but it's still comforting and warm if you wear it in the winter. So, yes it's got that spiciness it's got incense it's got those um flecks of pink peppercorn that pop and then that osmanthus again yes please thank you love it adore it and benzo in bourbon vanilla and um amber in the base which is just my dream base. It's gorgeous on the skin. It's not heavy. It's not going to wear you. It's not going to overwhelm you. And I think that amber fragrances can often be seen as very eveningy fragrances uh, because of their heaviness generally. But this one is perfect for any time of day. Now, talking about any time of day, oh Lord, wake up world. Great name, Parlez-moi de Parfum. They are encouraging us to feel more alert and I need 
all the encouragement I can get. I don't know about you, especially first thing in the morning. So they wanted us to feel alive and to acknowledge the wonders of the world around us. Um, and this invigorating scent fuses brightness with enveloping warmth, I feel. It's a, it's a wake up call, yes, but it comes with a hug. It's not that, oh my God, the alarm's gone off and I've got to get out of bed and you know face the day. It's someone making you a cup of tea and saying, it's gonna be okay, darling. Another beautiful day, it's sunny outside. Let's go and do something wonderful. It's that kind of wake up, I think. So there's green apple and Turkish rose in the um, heart of this. And I think that's enhanced by the citrus of the top notes, which is lime and bergamot. And that's that zestiness, that wake up call in a bottle. In the base, you've got bourbon, vanilla, the tonka bean and ambroxan as well. So that's that hug. It's, it's the wake up call. Get up. Come on. We're up. We're doing this. It's another day. Let's face it together. And then it's going to be all right which I just love. Um, my goodness. Now, Ruth Marstenbrook, Gaia. I've talked about Ruth Marstenbrook till the cows come home. I love her. I think she's a genius, such a, a refined, beautiful British perfumer. Um, and this is one of her latest fragrances, Gaia. And it's inspired by happy memories, as all of her fragrances are. They're, they're scent memories in, in a bottle, basically. Um, but this one is inspired particularly by the freshness of Britain's lush natural landscape, which we can often forget how beautiful it is. And I think perhaps more of us explored during lockdown, you know, you went for those walks and now we're delighting in you know, going to the seaside or even just walking in your local park, or sitting in your garden if you're lucky enough to have one and just noticing the natural world around you. This fragrance encourages you to do that. And it's Beautiful, particularly, I think, because it is centred around soothing chamomile that's grown in Norfolk, which I didn't know Norfolk was known for. That's the heart of the fragrance itself. And it's it's got that note of calm and contentment. Everything's going to be OK. Along with rosemary, which is often um, used for mindfulness and remembering things in aromatherapy. And then with the chamomile in the heart, rose wood and green tea as well, which is oh, that moment of, yeah, just breathing out and feeling better about yourself, better about the world. And again, tonka bean. Oh, tonka bean and vetiver is everywhere at the moment and I adore it. I can't get enough of it. And white musk as well. Just, it's zen-like, it's tranquil. I have particular really really happy memories of the Norfolk Broads because I used to holiday there all the time on um, boating holidays as a child and uh, I sadly lost my father many years ago my my real dad who used to come with us um, and fragrances like this where you can be taken out of yourself you can be taken somewhere else now that might be might not be the Norfolk Broads for you but allow yourself when you're smelling a fragrance to be taken somewhere else because that in itself that sort of olfactory escape it maybe you haven't been on holiday you can't get out the house or you you, you can't do the things that you want to do wherever you are um, you can have that moment of escape with a fragrance that you love and just taking that time to think where is this taking me today Oh, another fragrance that you can really be taken out of yourself with is Sarah Baker Ludo. I adore Sarah Baker as well. I've had the pleasure of interviewing her many times and um, writing about her beautiful fragrances. So she is a perfumer. She also works with other perfumers. She's an artist. She's been an actress. She's a writer. She's done so many incredible, incredible things. Read all about her again on perfumesociety.org on the Sarah Baker Perfumes brand page. But Ludo, this is a really fun and flirty fragrance. I think it encourages you to be mischievous. So the, the name itself is a pun on Oud, so Ludo, um, which is in there, but 
don't run away <laughs> if you if you're scared of oud please don't stop watching it's such a beautiful oud and it's mixed with cherry here um and white chocolate and orange blossom and all this deliciousness again there's amber and vanilla and musk in the base uh which just enhances that or oh, i want to eat my own arm off when i wear it but there's a beautiful lightness as well that sort of shot through with sunshine neroli pettigram and bergamot um, and cypriol as well uh, it's just a fun beautiful happy making fragrance to wear and it's um, inspired by evocative aromas of childhood appetites but it also encourages you to I think explore your own sensuality in a way just to be happy with yourself um, and my goodness we all need that as well now another exploration of your sensuality <laughs> sensuality is Toka Colette. Now this is the freedom to be yourself I think. Colette was such an innovative ahead of her time writer who's still being celebrated today. There's a recent film with Keira Knightley which I've not yet seen I desperately want to um, but this stirring new scent I think is is it's spicy and seductive. It's alluring and it's intriguing, it's got depth to it. Um, you want to get to know the person who wears this and maybe that's yourself, maybe you actually want to get to know yourself better. So there's mandarin, then lemon, uh, lemon, juniper and pink peppercorns in here. There's jasmine and violet and the violet in here, so beautifully done. It has that lightness to it. It's like walking through a beautiful woodland setting for me and cyclamen. And again, in the base, you've got that vanilla, sandalwood, amber, cedarwood incense and musk um it's just a dream i think it's probably my favorite of all the top cut fragrances i don't know depends what mood i'm in but um i always love a literary reference being a writer and this is must have now another one that i absolutely adore is to the fairest elan vital this is their just launched fragrance they also do um beautiful candles and body oils satin body oils by the way which i highly recommend this one i also wrote about in my bear with me um article within the scented letter magazine and my article was called time to spray your five a day and it was referencing fragrances that make us feel better certainly which uh, the entire issue is about but particularly unusual notes in fragrances and sort of vegetal vegetable notes now this one doesn't have vegetables in but it's got nettle and I just think that's so fascinating. It's got white nettle with vetiver again, lily of the valley, which is such a beautiful, delicate, tender, oh, just almost heartbreakingly beautiful note, I think, in a fragrance. And musk mallow, um, which is soft and fluffy and comforting, like a fluffy white towel. Now, there's also patchouli and oak moss, two of my favourite notes of all time. Again, grounding, foresty, bringing you back to nature. And they said that that's what this fragrance is all about. And that it is, uh, Ilan Vital, by the, by the way, if you don't know, means life force. And it's that grounding, restorative nature, that paying homage to the world around us again, noticing things, feeling better, feeling that connection to nature again and to our true natures, which is really what all of the fragrances in this box are going to encourage you to do. It's not just fragrances in the box though. We also have two incredible scented treats. And the first one is the Scented Sleep Well Aromatherapy Balm. It's in this fabulous little size, which you can pop in your purse, you can pop in your pocket, take it wherever you go. They are beautiful, beautiful gifts as well. Um, you can use this whenever you want, not just at night. I find it particularly effective at night. I think there's something about using a solid fragrance and just sort of stroking your own skin, um, just centering yourself and you're almost giving yourself permission to relax and to switch off. It's so difficult to do that, especially when people are working from home more. You are so busy. Just switching off sometimes is so difficult. And this can 
trigger you to do that gives you permission to relax and don't we all need that it's got lavender in there and also therapeutic chamomile palmarosa hoewood bois de rose and geranium modern patchouli clove and a lang ylang in the heart and it does it so it doesn't just smell like an aromatherapy balm I mean, you could wear this as a fragrance if you wanted to. I think, as I say, it's, it's particularly beautiful just as you're going to sleep to stroke that on your skin. Now, also, look at this. <gasps> Full size, Wellida, Wellida, skin food body butter. Now, the original skin food, which was just for your face, is a cult hit if you've never heard of it you've maybe never read a magazine in your life because it is adored by beauty editors and makeup artists and really anyone who's ever tried it. Um, in the body butter form, it gives your skin this, oh, shall I open it? Um, oh, this beautiful sheen. Oh, even the colour of that makes me feel better. Oh my goodness. I haven't broken this foil top yet. Okay. Oh, and the smell of it. <sighs> you see, that's what fragrance can do. It just stops you in your tracks. You're speeding ahead and it just stops you. And it's gorgeous. So this is scented. It's in cocoa and shea butter. It leaves your skin nourished and really soft, like a, a rose petal or something. But it's non-greasy. So um, you're not going to look like you've just slicked yourself with oil or head to toe. Um, so you've got lasting hydration, but you've also got the aromatherapy benefits of the lavender, benzoin, um, and this sort of, oh, and chamomile as well. Oh, uh, yes, sweet orange. I'm really getting the orange now. I'm going to put some on my skin. And the texture of it, butter is exactly the right word because, I hope you can see that, it just spreads. You can slather this on your skin. It just immediately disappears and you just feel great. <laughs> so you can use this as a hand cream if you just wanted to do that. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm going to have a bath tonight and just butter myself up with that because it's gorgeous and you just feel so much better. And of course, your skin feels amazing. Also, top tip, if you find fragrances don't last on your skin, try putting some moisturiser. It doesn't have to be this one, but you've got it in the box anyway, so you might as well. Put some moisturiser on your skin before you apply the fragrance and a well-nourished, hydrated skin will hold that fragrance far longer. It won't evaporate as quickly on your skin. So oh, I really hope that you find some sense, I think you're going to find several in this box that give you that sense of well-being, that feel-good factor that fragrance truly can bring. And just to remind you, it's £23 or if you're a VIP club member for the Perfume Society, it's £19. You can find out on perfumesociety.org how to become a VIP, how to read the magazine for free in um, digital form, or you can buy print copies because we know so many of you love reading it in printed form as well. However you experience your fragrance, we hope that you feel better for it. Until next time, bye.